Hello everybody, Roger Bowman here again. Uh, going over yet some more home-based exercise ideas. Uh, with this video, I wanted to talk just a bit about and also demonstrate uh, what Tabata training is. The concept of Tabata, or the approach, is basically 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest and then you repeat. Typically, one would preferably do up to eight rounds or eight sets, um, but depending on the person and also the exercise at hand, it may be five or six. I've seen some limitations with some individuals as to how far they can push themselves because it's, it's very, very intense, although it's very short. So you can challenge your cardiovascular uh, system. So for example, you can utilize a treadmill. Um, you can get you know the speed going up just say hypothetically on, a, on an eight, uh, and then you could hit you know 20 seconds of work, come off, 10 seconds of rest, get back on, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest, and repeat again up to eight rounds. Um, so that is a great way in a very, very short period of time to you know get some great cardio in. You could also utilize it to hit on and train your anaerobic uh, systems and your fast twitch explosive muscles. Um, and if you think about it, 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, you quickly start to kind of cut off those slow twitch or those more endurance muscles that you start to cut them off at the head very shortly, which you primarily start relying on anaerobic pathways to keep moving and moving. So I could pick and choose a handful of different exercises, uh, but today with this video, I'm just going to simply utilize squats as an example. Okay, So squats using your own body weight we can do anywhere. Uh, of course, this is my home gym, uh, my garage here. I convert a three-car garage into a gym. Uh, and so, again, you can do this anywhere. So, again, the concept is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So we get the clock going. <clears throat> you just simply go for 20 seconds. Now, I'm being ballistic and explosive. I'm doing plyometrics right now just simply to increase the intensity five seconds left and then rest so depending on your level of fitness that may not be jumps maybe you just do normal squats such as this if your level of fitness and your conditioning is not that great nothing wrong with this and 10 seconds in again working for 20 <clears throat> We have five left. <clears throat> and done. So wait 10 more seconds, which again goes by in the flash. And I'll right back at it. And I'll go back to jump squats just to increase my intensity. And you can even modify. If you gotta do regular ones for the last five seconds, you can do that. Again, 10 seconds. So, as you can see, I'm out of breath already, um, just with a couple of rounds. So again, that's just an example. Okay, again, you do that six to eight rounds. One other one of my favorites is I love to do calf raises in that fashion. 20 seconds of, you know, calf raises, 10 seconds rest, Bing, bang, boom, right back and forth. Great way if you have limited time, limited equipment, maybe you travel for work, stay in a lot of hotel rooms, maybe you're looking for ideas to train at home because you don't want to go to a gym, maybe you don't have time to go to a gym because you have kids, great idea. Hang in, don't just let it stop here. You go, you know, push-ups, <laughs> same thing, you can do they said calf raises, lunges, the list goes on and on. So, hope that was uh, helpful, informative. Hopefully it gets your brain thinking with some ideas that you can incorporate.